So the web is undergoing a major transformation right now with the rise of AI powered search engines. On one side, we have big tech like Google and Microsoft launching their AI powered search engines. And then we have innovative startups also launching and building their own AI search engines. In this video, we'll examine six or seven of these AI search engines that are popping off. Let's jump into my computer and quickly go over these tools so you can stay up to date on the latest developments in AI. So we'll quickly start off with the big tech giants that you've heard of, and then we'll jump into these new innovative startups. So the first one, obviously we have Microsoft Bing, which is launching its AI powered Bing search and incorporating it into the Edge web browser. This is what you get right now. If you visit bing.com, you can ask me anything. So who won the Super Bowl? 2021 you get results like this and if you click on the top right hand corner you can click this drop down click labs and then here you can select the chat response on the results page you can set it to more frequent uh, right now it is still very limited but i set it to more frequent if we go back to the main page there's also a chat button at the top here you can click this and you can join the wait list right here to get access to the new bing when you click on this button you'll be asked to sign in to join the wait list but there are some demos available of what this looks like. Bing reviews web results from across the web to find and summarize answers. You can interact with the chatbot. You can compose questions. And here in this video, it's asking for arts and crafts ideas, workouts, and stuff like that. And then when you're on the Edge browser, there will be a sidebar where you can summarize articles, financial reports, lengthy text and things like that. Then of course we have Google Bard rushing out its release of their AI tool. They announced this on February 6th in a blog post from their CEO. At the moment, this is only available to beta testers, but it will soon be introduced to the public according to the blog post. And you can use Bard to summarize information, get relevant answers, basically the same as Microsoft, Bing, and all these chatbot style search engines that we're seeing. They're all providing a similar experience. And they obviously introduced this in competition to OpenAI's ChatGPT3, which has 100 million users in just two months. There's not a ton of information available about Google's product, but that is obviously one to keep on your radar to see how it develops. Then we have a bunch of Chinese companies developing their own search bots. So we have Baidu, which is China's version of Google, one of the biggest Chinese internet companies. They want to rival ChatGPT, and it's preparing to launch its own AI-powered chatbot similar to ChatGPT. They are planning to release this in March. It's gonna be called ErnieBot, and the company has been working on an AI model since 2019, and it's training it on both Chinese and English language sources inside and outside China's firewall. The other Chinese companies include Alibaba, all of these Chinese companies have very limited details, but Alibaba will be incorporating this somehow into its e-commerce website and AliExpress. We have JD.com, which is another major Chinese e-commerce giant that are readying themselves for a public debut. And here's another article. We also have Tencent Holdings, all these Chinese companies that are getting in. Now let's do the fun part. Let's look at these smaller startups that you can actually start using today. You know, while Microsoft, Google Bard are barely even launched, there are some small innovative companies that you can actually start using right now, and they have a lot of users. The first one we're gonna look at is called U.com. It has over 100,000 users on just the Chrome extension and let's jump right into the browser so this is what it looks like and you can search across four different search engines using the extension which you can see at the top there's you chat you code so code learn work faster with a search engine for developers you write where you can write blogs emails or social media posts you imagine find and create stunning images using ai and then more they have shopping social code complete and 150 plus apps so let's just do an example it's prompting me uh, best laptops food near me let's do best laptops you click on that and you get a really nice snippet of the best laptops which is taking results from ai summarized reviews and when you scroll down this is kind of what you see you see results from PC mag you see results from reddit price.com and if you look at the top here you actually have a chat function so let's click on this and then it'll give me a chat based response for the best laptops uh, with links to the sources here so the best laptops of 2023 are the Dell MacBook Air M2 Asus blah 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 and you have links to laptop mag the verge PC world I guess the things that are ranking on the top of Google then you obviously have reddit in this chat bot which is cool so it's pulling search results from there obviously a lot of people use reddit you can also click news articles let's see what imagine is so this is an AI image generator describe the image to be created best laptops what if we do something more specific best laptops Let's put multiple laptops, dark, office, modern, minimalist. 
Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's taking a long time to load. So let's just go back to u.com and let's see what the main things are. So this is a multi-dimensional interface, with horizontal and vertical scrolling, lets you discover more in less time, many different sources. So personalize your search with 150 plus apps like Stack Overflow, Medium, Amazon, and Twitter. And you can actually uh, thumbs up or thumbs down the results you want to see more. So if you wanna see less results from Amazon, you just click thumbs down and it's privacy protected apparently for private browsing, tracking protection, free of tracking and invasive ads, which is obviously how Google makes all of its money. We can also go to the web extension. You can set your default search. So you.com, Google, you code, you chat, and they have the different search engines. One's for developers, chat, writing, imagine, and the features emphasize privacy first, customizable search experience, accomplish more faster. And the U code actually looks very interesting for developers. And this project was founded by former chief scientist at Salesforce and a top NLP researcher who led AI teams at Salesforce. The next one we have is called Neva Search. So I'm just gonna play this video at one and a half speed. It's only about 60 seconds long. Of advertisers and special interests influencing your experience online. Introducing Neva, no tracking, no bias. Search and browse free from corporate influence. Neva stops trackers cold with built-in tracking prevention, giving you the privacy you deserve. With Neva, you're in charge. See more of the sources you love. See less of what you don't like. Because Neva is ad-free, you get to see trustworthy sites like Mayo Clinic when you're concerned about your health, not shady corporations trying to influence what you see. Neva also features honest, real opinions and conversations happening around the web, so you get the best information. As seen in Forbes, Wired, and named one of Time Magazine's best inventions of 2021, you need to see the difference for yourself. Add Neva to Chrome and start searching today. So that is Neva, which looks pretty similar to you.com and they are advertising no tracking, no bias, search free from corporate influence, and it has 60,000 users. To access Neva, you can go to neva.com and you will get a page like this. And on the left side of the screen, you can see Neva versus Google. So here you get different types of results on the top of the screen available on all devices. And let's just do a search. So let's do um, best laptops, see how it compares to you.com. So here we get some snippets like this. Honestly, I think you.com was a better answer for the shopping experience. And if you wanna sign up for Neva, it does cost 542 Canadian a month, which I think is five US a month. But let's do an example search of tech news. And this is very similar to, I guess, Google search. I guess the privacy is the main feature. I don't see any chatbot options, but maybe you have to be a paid user to do that. The last one I have is Perplexity AI, which I have covered on the channel in previous videos, but I'll quickly do it again. Perplexity is growing crazy. It's a Chrome extension and web browser similar to Google search. So you can ask anything in the search bar. We're gonna do one of the popular now, popular ones now. So what are five AI applications? It's gonna pull results from the top ranking posts on Google to give you a 50 to 100 word answer. And it's actually provides more recent information than ChatGPT, which is up to around 2021, I believe, because it's pulling information from blog posts. So I'm gonna speed this up. Sometimes it takes a while. Oh, no, there we go. So what are five AI applications? So you can use it in banking, recruitment, agriculture, and defense. It can also be used recognition, handwriting, speech recognition, etc. And it pulls it from these five sources here, which is the key. So I actually want to do a better example. Maybe there are best things in London locals do. So in one of my recent videos, I asked it like, how much is it to lease a Lamborghini in Toronto? And then it gave me specific numbers like two to 3,000 and then sources from local blogs. So it's very good for specific questions. London locals enjoy a variety of activities, having a picnic on Primrose Hill, searching for street art in East London, visiting museums like the British Museum and National Gallery, Cafe Kick, Fight Club, and then you can click on one of the sources and it takes you to that blog. So it's very good for local results and specific questions and you can dig deeper by asking follow-up questions so you can really learn about a city you can learn about a topic and you'll see it'll give you the answer here and it's a very quick way to learn the last one i have on this list that i actually forgot to cover is called po.quora.com this was a chatbot released by the question and answer website quora also covered this on my channel but this lets you interact with different types of chatbots that have different knowledge on different topics it's more similar to the chat gpt style rather than a search engine 
but you can learn about topics. You can click on the sources to get more information and you can switch between different AI chatbots. Right now it's only available on Apple, but it's completely free to use. And if you want a database of over 40 trending AI tools that you can start using today, all you have to do is just go to comparing.ai enter your email and I will send you this database for free if you want the latest cutting edge AI tools. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more AI videos and drop a like if this was helpful. I will see you in the next video.